morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. It's Monday today, it's September 28. Do we even really know the proper dates and days anymore? I don't think so. It's actually my birthday week, which is insane because that means I'm turning 30 by the end of this week. I'm about to start my show, but before that, I thought I would show you guys my super cute outfit. If you remember from last week's weekly vlog, I got a wonderful little gift from Candy Circus over on Instagram and Tisha, the owner, sent me a bunch of their things, including this very light, thin and breezy lounge set that I I am actually obsessed with. It's in this like gray satiny material and it's got really tiny shorts though. For those of you that are a little shy, this might be a little uh, little revealing. I mean, you could totally swap the cropped hoodie for a big shirt, but I just think that this outfit is so cute and the perfect way to start my birthday week slash normal week because I'm not really gonna be celebrating my birthday like in some extravagant way. Hello guys. It's been a couple of hours now. Mom and I just had lunch and now we're both upstairs. Trina's at the office today. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier this morning, but for this whole week, Trina will be working in the office. So it's just mom and I. She's in her room now fixing some stuff and I am about to edit the birthday video. You guys would have already seen it. I vlogged mom's entire birthday weekend. So I'm really excited to look through the footage. But before that, I thought I would show you guys my little Zalora package. I think I mentioned this as well in last week's vlog. I'm going to be working on my birthday. I'm going to be hosting an event and the outfit that I need to wear is a solid yellow dress. Now, I do not own anything yellow, so I decided to go on Zalora on Thursday night. I remember I went on at around 10 and I found a couple of yellow dresses, submitted them for approval, and this bad boy was the one that they selected. I ordered it Friday in the morning and it arrived today. You gotta hand it to Zalora. This is not an ad. I am not doing any work with Zalora. Wish I was. They really are my go-to when I need an outfit or I need an item of clothing and I need it fast because their shipping is fantastic. I just hope that this will fit me. I got it in an extra small because according to the UK conversion, it's a size 8. This is what it looks like. It's got that really nice high neck razor tank style. Then it's got this cute little bow in the front. I'm gonna be seated because it's gonna be a digital online event but I mean this is really cute. I definitely need a yellow dress. If you want to get into hosting I highly suggest you invest in solid colored dresses because more often than not a certain brand or a certain event will require you to wear something that you probably don't have in your wardrobe. Hopefully it fits. I also wanted to show you guys a couple of things you know, that arrived over the weekend. Shout out to Command Strips. Command Strips Philippines. They kindly sent me this gorgeous wire basket filled with all of their products. Now I go on and on about command strips. You guys know they're like my favorite way to hang anything. They have the most incredible strips that you can use to hang prints, frames, wall decor basically. But they also have a couple of things like these little hooks that you can stick on your wall and you can house like a broom or a mop. So again, it's really great for organization. They've also got one of my favorite ones are the bathroom line because a bunch of us have tiled bathrooms. So it's really hard to be able to drill an actual hook or hole into the wall. So Command makes special products like hooks and stuff just for the bathroom. And I actually am using a couple of hooks already in my bathroom. Thank you to Command. This is like the goodie basket of my dreams. And then Sample Room sent me probably one of the most exciting deliveries to date. I've mentioned this also before, how much I love how brands are really adapting to the new normal and they're trying to find ways to level up their products. So these are a couple of bits from Ambipure. Now I know Ambipure for the car freshener and the room fresheners and now they apparently have fabric fresheners that are, wait for it, disinfectants as well. So these ones are made with Safeguard. They sent me three scents. Downy, which I already know I'm gonna love. Antibacterial. And then there's the extra strength one. So these can be used for beddings and mattresses, fabric sofas, and even curtains. I just think that this is a great idea because as much as we are being careful with our packages, and our outside clothes. It's also really nice to be able to spray our chairs and our sofas and our beds. I'll link sample room in the description box down below because I honestly feel like they have one of the best services and they've got so many products that I didn't even know were on the market yet. Leia's other shop called Yalos. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Leia is launching another shop that has all of the gorgeous glass and ceramic room trinkets that I know everybody's obsessed with. Thank you, Leia. She sent me this gorgeous blue vase 
place with some dried grass. Oh, you guys know any place, by the way, that just sells like a bunch of these? Because I need like 200 stems of this. I don't even know what this is called, but this is what I want all over my room. And then she also sent over this gorgeous crystal plate. I'm gonna put like all my little rings and trinkets on here and I'm gonna put it on my desk. Yeah, those are all the goodies I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to edit now, so I'm really not gonna be doing anything for the next like two, three hours. Hello everyone. It is Tuesday today, the 29th. Just had lunch with mom. It's about to hit three o'clock. I was just talking to mom earlier. I feel so weird today. I don't know if this happens to you guys as well, but I don't feel okay. And I'm not talking like sad or anxious or anything. Praise God, my anxiety has been very, very minimal the past few days, which has been fantastic. I just feel weird. If I could describe how I'm feeling, I feel like this. <laughs> I feel off. Anyway, I thought I would sit down and show you guys a couple of cool things that I got. I feel like every weekly vlog has like some haul-ish type of portion. Shout out to Jared. Jared kindly gifted me this shirt. He gave it to Trina to give to me. I love this color, by the way. Like I keep telling you guys, I'm trying to wear more color and I've been wanting like an emerald forest green shirt for such a long time. And this is so freaking cute. Super my style. I love how vintagey it looks and it's giving me major Princess Diana vibes. So thank you, Jared, I love this. I didn't get to show you guys this yesterday, but this also arrived for me over the weekend. Thank you to DKNY and to SSI. They sent me these really cool travel essentials, which made me both happy and sad. Happy because I've never owned anything as bougie and sad because we don't really know when we're gonna get to travel. I think that this is so cool. Talk about leveling up my travel essential game. And I also bought myself a couple of essentials. I was really excited when I found out that Unico we're gonna be making masks. I love Uniqlo, and I feel like the Japanese would be the perfect people to really create the best mask. Trina actually got these because she ordered the wrong size, so I paid for them. I got the size medium, and I got myself the black because on the days that I do wear makeup, I want as much as possible to not remove my mask and be horrified to find half my face on said mask. But these are cool. They're made with the same aerism technology. It's machine washable, cool to the touch, smooth to the touch, blocks 99% of bacteria and pollen and there's UV protection. Three masks in a pack for 590 pesos, which is not bad, especially because they're reusable and washable. Zo Skin Health Obaji Oil Control Pads. Talk about this all the time. I've been battling with my skin basically the entire 2020, whether it be from the lack of sleep, the stress, the mask. I don't even know anymore at this point. I mean, there are times when my skin is great. There are times when it's super bad, but majority of the time it's somewhere in between. These have lowered in price. I'm very happy about that. Now they're at 4,000 pesos. 4,000 pesos. I'm wearing my Drew sweatshirt, which I love so freaking much. I really want to buy myself more things from Drew House. Oh, something really cool that I can share. We interviewed Paul Jason Klein today of Lainey. I still can't get over the fact that I get to interview all of these artists that I honestly just super love. My birthday's on Saturday for those of you that care. I'm working on my birthday, which I think I've already said, but I'll be able to spend lunch and dinner with Mama Trina. Oh my God, guys, I'm 30. I feel like 30 is not cute anymore. 30 is proper adult. That's just how I feel. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen that I started rereading the Harry Potter series. The last time I read Harry Potter was literally when the books came out. I just finished Prisoner of Azkaban last night. You know what's so great about rereading books that you read years and years ago is that you forget how much you loved them. I'm like a huge Harry Potter fan. I'm falling even more in love with the books as I reread them. I had totally and completely forgotten that Prisoner of Azkaban is when you first meet Professor Lupin and Sirius Black, two of my favorite characters. If you're a big Harry Potter fan, I highly encourage you to start rereading. I'm gonna start Goblet of Fire tonight, which by the way is my favorite book. Out of all the books, Goblet of Fire for me is the best book. I've always wanted to join the Triwizard Tournament. I was in such a huge like reading slum and now I'm so hungry to read. So I'm really happy that I decided to just carry on with the Harry Potter series. Much later now, I'm actually getting ready for bed, putting on some of my skincare. I had Bible study tonight and it was wonderful. It was so great to be able to catch up with all of the ladies in my group and of course I learned so much from them. They're honestly just the most wonderful group of women. Nico leaves for the bubble on Saturday. I think he feels like I don't love him or that I don't care or that I'm not gonna miss him. I mean obviously I'm gonna miss him. Hello. I was gonna write him like a really sweet letter and all that and bring him a couple of bits anyway so I might as well make it just a giant care package. I'm 
I'm listing down now additional things that I want to buy. Trina is going to take full credit for this. So hi, Trina. Because Trina was like, you should really make him a care package. I'm not heartless, okay? But now I want to make it like this full-blown care package on steroids. I remember when we were dating in college and he would leave for the States in the summer. I would make him like so many different things. I would make him like a video and letters and I kind of miss doing that. I'm going to try to nip to the grocery tomorrow after our RX meeting. I don't know how long our meeting is going to run for. Hopefully not too long. I'm going to go to bed now. I'm going to read Harry Potter and then I'm going to go to bed so I can wake up early and work out. Catch you guys tomorrow. Morning guys. It's Wednesday today. Can't believe that September has come and gone. It's insane just how quickly the months are flying by. For once, I'm actually not running late, which is why I can leisurely pick up this camera and talk to you guys and welcome you to a brand new day. So basically what's going to happen today is I'm off to the station. We've got two interviews today. The first one is going to be recorded with an international artist. I won't say who yet because I'm not too sure when that's allowed to air. And then for my show with Rico live, we are going to be interviewing Mayor Isco Moreno. It'll be really fun to talk to Isco. Isco? To Mayor Isco and find out, you know, what he's been up to, what he likes to do in his free time. And then I have to head home, have a quick lunch, and then we've got a prod meeting at 2 p.m. I wanted to show you my outfit because I feel really cute today. Oh, skin update. The Obaji pads have worked their magic. As you can see, the texture in my forehead is basically gone. I have to keep reminding myself to a lot money for those pads because they work miracles. I've got this super cute crop square neck top. I'm actually not too sure if it's supposed to be off the shoulder, but I kind of like how it looks like this. So this was sent to me by a shop on Instagram called May Girl. I'll leave them linked in the description. I just am obsessed with this color. I mean, I know I'm from Ateneo. I don't know if that's why I'm super attracted to blue, but I just love how bold and bright this color is. And then the cute little flower print as well is super nice. The arms have two elasticated parts. I've got my hair down today, which desperately needs a dye. That's why I bought box size. You can see it's so patchy. Thanks, mom. Faded black Zara mom jeans. These are a staple for me. If you haven't seen my best jeans video, I'll also leave it linked in the description because seriously, these jeans are my favorite jeans. They're getting a little loose though. And then I've got my Zara leather ballet flats. I've got my Love and Luna hoops. Oh, the birds are right outside. Hi, darling. My eyebrows are looking snatched. This is the Elana brow pencil, the Laura Mercier clear brow gel, and then the Issean Cobra. I'll leave it linked. Hello, hello, guys. Just finished my meeting. We had a couple of schedule changes and show portion discussions and stuff. It's 3.20 so I think I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go to the grocery and pick up some bits for Nico. I'm debating if I'm going to go all the way to Unimart so I can get mom's diabetesol as well or if I'm gonna go to Ristan's. Since I'm already gonna be going out, I might as well just venture a little bit further. I really, really love this top. I wish May Girl made it in like a dress. That would be amazing. Shout out to May Girl. Can you guys make this into a dress please? Catch you guys when I'm at the grocery. forgot to vlog the grocery again. Me? I am sorry. I vlogged like 10 seconds of footage maybe. I just realized <laughs> when I was lining up for the cashier that I didn't vlog anything. I was so happy because there wasn't really anybody in the grocery. Like there was no line. So I was able to just enter the grocery and get all of the stuff. But I don't know if it's because there were so little people that there were also fewer cashier attendants. There were about five tills that were open. So everybody was lining up for far longer than they needed to. If it only took me like 10 minutes to get everything inside the grocery, I lined up for maybe half an hour. So that wasn't fun, but at least I'm done. It's only 4.38. Oh, I'm so sweaty. I thought before I freshen up and change, I would show you guys my little care package for Nico. This doesn't include some toiletries, which I'm going to chuck in later on. I've sanitized everything. Nico is like me. He has a major sweet tooth. He loves snacks and he's always hungry. Anyway, I thought I'd get him some fun little snacks 
I mean, who doesn't love Coco Crunch? Chicharron, this is pork rinds for my foreign viewers. Whoa, foreign viewers. That's definitely like indulgent. I also got him some Cheetos Flaming Hot. Not gonna lie, these are my favorite chips, but I know Nico enjoys spicy food. I also got him a box of Swiss Miss Hot Chocolate. This is the chocolate hazelnut flavor. Super easy because he can literally just put some hot water and then he has some hot chocolate. Nico loves drinking milk or hot cocoa at night. He's gonna kill me for revealing that, but he really is a big baby. He loves hazelnut. So much so that I got him a tub of Nutella. If you're not a fan of Nutella, I don't know how to feel about you. If they can drink, I'm honestly not too sure if they can. I just got him two little cans of beer. And to go with the beer, I mean, he could totally have the chicharron. Savory hot peanuts. Nico loves peanuts. And ding dong mixed nuts, because I love these. The name is hilarious, and it's a Filipino favorite. Lotus biscuits. I also got him a box of nerds. Some wet wipes just in case he wants to wipe any surfaces or if he does a number two and there's no bidet Nico, I got you. Nutter butter bites. I actually don't know if Nico's ever eaten nutter butter, but he loves peanut butter I love these and the last thing I got him fun story not really fun when lockdown was still fresh and new He kept telling me that all he wanted were chips ahoy cookies and I never forgot I got him a big pack I'm gonna put it all in this red echo bag along with some toiletries and then I'm gonna write him a note I think I'm gonna put post-its. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with myself. I am so incredibly sweaty. Good morning everyone, as you can probably tell by my incredibly messy hair and the fact that I am still in workout clothes. It's been a pretty busy. It's been a pretty busy morning. It is Thursday today, the 1st of October. Today actually marks the one year anniversary of our trip to England, so I'm a little sad today. Trina sent pictures to our family group chat and it made me really sad. But if you're wondering why I look like this and why I'm starting today like this, it's because I have done so much in life. Like two hours. So I got up, worked out, cleaned kebabs trays, chucked in some laundry because this weekend I'm gonna be working. And then mom and I defrosted the freezer. We have a big freezer inside our kitchen. So we had to put all of the meats and stuff into coolers. Took some pictures for a couple of things that I'm having sent out. And now I'm just waiting for Rico so we can start our show. And then at some point during the show, I'm going to take a shower because this is just unacceptable. I'm also going to edit this vlog and I've got Got a meeting at 4 30 talk to you again in a bit hey guys as you can probably tell it is much later now I apologize for the sound of the fan but it is so humid because it's raining ironic right you think it would cool down because it's storming we finished dinner early and I thought that I would color my hair because I desperately need to even it out I use the L'Oreal Paris excellence cream box dye in the shade 3 dark brown that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening I'll probably end the vlog tomorrow so you guys can all also see what my hair looks like. I'm hoping I do it well. Please pray that I actually color my hair well. Hey guys, good morning. It's Friday and I thought I'd sign off the vlog here. I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is much darker. I was able to color it last night and I think I got it pretty even. I'm hoping that it's even. I know that this is gonna fade because the last time I did this, it came up this dark that after a few shampoos kind of faded, but I'm hoping that if it does fade, it will fade evenly and I won't have those annoying streaks that I did the last Last time. Coloring your own hair is really not an easy task. I'm pretty happy with the result and I hope that it stays this way. I really like dark hair. I feel like I look mysterious. Ooh. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye!